seat. Yeah, but uh, he also played for the Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, but uh, he lives two doors from me. But he was the guy that was standing behind him, holding that ball, and he ended up selling automobiles now. Okay, this is a, a letter. My dad, as you say, he went in in 1916, 1914 in the U.S. Life Saving Service. They, they changed it to the Coast Guard. This is a document dated 42, uh, September 1916. Incidentally, last name Moynihan, all my elders in the family came from Ireland. My dad saved his money, made several trips back to Ireland because he had five siblings that were in a foundling home. He paid all their expenses for the time they were in a foundling home. But he got them out of Ireland. One sister went to Australia, one came to the U.S. and his three brothers all came to the United States, and they all all did well. I that square box is full of stories about different people and what they've done. One of my best donors for the adoption committee. He writes a check each year to buy toys. I get the toys with at least a thirty percent discount for the kids every Christmas. The individual I was talking about, he survived the Bataan Death March in the Philippines, and he was in a concentration camp on the Philippines, and it was pretty difficult because they shipped him to Japan, and he was in a concentration camp in J Japan, and the Japanese people did not sign or were never a part of the Geneva Agreement. So they could torture at will. This gentleman, he was in the concentration camp till the war ended, and then um, he became a very successful business person. His business was in uh, the Beverly Hills area. He started out with a suitcase, and walked up and down the streets. Hey, mister. You need a new watch band. And then he became at a jewelry store, and he had some customers like Elvis Presley and uh, others that had lots and lots of money in Beverly Hills, and he's doing quite well for himself. He will turn 100 in September of this year. I hope that he will give us a check like he has for the last several years. He writes a check for $500 for, to buy toys for the kids. Pretty, pretty nice. I've been a member of the Adoption Committee. I've been a member of our Veterans Club from Costa del Sol, and we've managed to do some pretty nice things. I hope you'll appreciate some of it. But you don't want to keep, it's okay. Send it back to me and what are some stories that I've written for some people. They're one of our individuals that got the Navy Cross very, very high honor Navy for sinking an aircraft carrier and a battleship. And his name was Bill Miles. He had a license to fly airplanes at age 18, and the aircraft carrier covered the battleship, and he put 2,000 pound bomb right down the smokestack. Next day, he got another ship. Uh, he got two Navy crosses. They made him a, a rear admiral very early on, and he received another award, and I can't remember. He lived in Costa del Sol, and they gave him a, another award two weeks before his 200th birthday. Did a lot of good things. And I'm sure, I hope you find some good reading there that uh, became part of our communities. We have our own newspaper.
six months just to do my background investigation. We were just sitting pretty, pretty nice right? Think in the letter that I wrote about my my life and what have you, I said I got tired of hearing you'll never amount to anything, and I kept plugging away. It may be minor to a lot of people, but when the kids from Oxnard High said, "Bill, we want you as our student body president," he didn't even say congratulations. So, well, actually, so. So you were doing background checks on everyone. Did you like, did you enjoy doing that? I did very little actual investigation, even though I was part of the OSI. I was an administrator and I ran the orderly room. We had 28 clerk typists, all females, but uh, they felt that what I was doing in running that orderly room, basically, being the chief clerk, where we probably had 85 people in the district office. And they said, hey, you're doing your job, you're doing it well. That was it. So, and I did get a couple pay raises called uh, promotions. There's um, another thing, our adoption committee, we got a copy of the last commendation we got there's about 30 people that are on the adoption committee. But the one for last year, we were credited 30 some odd uh, participants in the adoption committee for putting in 6,400 hours per person. That's what it averaged out. That's a lot of hours. Um, dedication. Well, service was good to me. And uh, very, very grateful. At this point, the camera stopped recording and it took a few minutes to notice that the camera was recording. I turned it back on. A lot of people, for example, one of the things that they gave you in the military was you could buy military insurance. was cheap and what I kept mine. I had a brother, I see. All five boys served. One, my brother, Mike, he was just about to graduate from Long Beach State Friday before Christmas, and just less than 10 days away from Christmas, he was killed by a drunk driver. And it was right on the edge of Compton, and the fire department came out The drunk driver went over the rail in his car at the bottom of the Los Angeles River. He didn't do very well with that. That's, say, it's hard to get over things like that. So it took me a, a long time, you know, like probably years, and he said, spent a lot of time in the psychiatrist's office. He to even talk about it. So, so hard at the time. The 
wife, she died about six months after her fu funeral. The maternal grandparents helped out a lot. They became farmers up in the San Joaquin Valley. And the granddaughter of that marriage, she ended up I've been very, very lucky with my family. There were five boys in the family. There's only two of us left. But I'm, I'm up in years, too. Anybody want to take the guess of my age? Well, believe me, all these things here made me feel feel good. Not trying to be emotional or anything, but the good Lord has blessed me. Believe me, and uh, I'll just leave it at that because I I don't know that I could have it any better. 
especially with the family I have, and, and I've got uh, lots and lots of grandkids and great-grandkids. I have over 20 grandkids, eight great-grandchildren, and what more could you ask for? And the kids have done well for themselves. The son that had a birthday yesterday, I never thought somebody would make the kind of money that he makes. He's in sales, and he sells million-dollar property. All right, I feel that like this, this sums up the whole interview. I, we, we all thank you for the time you Thanks so much. Your I enjoy some of that. And Thanks so much. Okay, you're welcome.